fake news. Let's put a, uh, a quick montage of uh, people saying fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Piece of fake news. This fake news. Taking on fake news. I'm so sick of hearing people complain about fake news. But the problem is, it's necessary. Fake news is a huge issue. I get so much embarrassment when someone from my family or someone I'm friends with shares a fake news article. What makes it even worse now, these platforms will now actually remove whatever it is that you shared and mark that this person shared something that was dangerous and harmful. How embarrassing is that? Not only did you share fake news, but the platform is now publicly calling you out for it. It's such an easy fix too. Here's why fake news is a problem. There are more digital news entities than ever. They make money based off how many clicks they get. So this means they don't have to fact check what they do. In the past, news organizations were focused on getting the facts right. They were focused on being truthful. They were focused on telling the story. From there, they can build a better reputation with their readers. But now, things have changed. In the digital age, you can get cheap clicks. You can post things and people will click on it based on the headline. Well, how the internet is set up, sites get paid based off of clicks. So the more people that click on something, the more they get paid. And as I mentioned earlier, the social media algorithms are based upon engagement. So if something controversial is posted and a lot of people are commenting on it, more people are seeing it. This was before the platforms were taking down fake news. But it's so easy to know whether an article was fake or not. Or even beyond that, you know, maybe it's not a news article. Maybe it's an opinion someone's giving on something or someone's trying to educate people. And you're like, is this real? The first thing to think about is to use your instinct. If it seems like it could be false, say to yourself, let me fact check this. And the second thing you do is you go on Google and you find three to four sources to back it up. If this is the only outlet or the only person saying this and there's not anything to back it up, chances are it's fake or it's going to be a risk to support that. The worst thing you can do is contribute in spreading disinformation because this is being used right now to divide our society. All you have to do is spend five minutes taking whatever that headline is or whatever that fact is and just Google it and check for three to four other sources. If it's backed up by other reputable sources, so bigger entities or they have facts or if they have sources for the information they're showcasing, then it becomes obvious that this is probably real. But if nobody else is backing up what you're seeing, chances are it's fake or it's a risk to assume that it's real. Don't be the person posting and supporting fake news. Don't be the person who gets your content taken down by the platforms because it's harmful and dangerous. Just spend five minutes on Google. It's the easiest thing in the world to do.